My name is Victor Angon. I am the events manager here at the Fab School. I also handle military outreach, high school outreach, and in this case, I am the Fab School race repair team manager. A little bit about me, um, my background is motorsports. I come from this industry, putting us in the right position to help us with our race team, with our repair team, and those are the kind of things I do. And so the Fab School, I can't say enough about this place. Uh, I came here about six years ago for an interview sat down, talked with a few people here at the school with Troy, and never left. I've been here since. I uh, just reached my six year mark here with the school. The school itself, I've known about the school for a long time. I've known Troy, I've known of the race team, and just a proud member of this team right now. The school is great because it takes a student that doesn't know what they really want to do with their lives, but they know that they're into motorsports, they know that they're into fabrication, maybe just into welding or design, things like that. And this is a place where they can come and actually put it all together and build their future upon what they actually want to do. So a little bit about Nora. Gotta love the series. Uh, it stands for National Off-Road Racing Association. It is a great series in the fact that it brings together the new and the old. Trophy trucks all the way down to your class 10 cars, class five limited cars to a five open like the one here behind me. You name it, they're out there. With the addition of the Safari series that they've added now where you can actually go down and actually take a tour, but still yet you're in a race of Nora. It's a great place to be. So what we do with Nora is, in my mind, it's a great thing. It gives the ability for every racer that can't afford to have their own chase team, their own repair team down there. We are now their repair team. So we can go down there and help every racer that doesn't have the ability to drag a welder down there or spare parts down there, um, the ability to fix a frame or suspension component. We can actually do that for them. And that's what we do for Nora. It's a great partnership in the fact that the series doesn't have that available, but yet they do have us and we're able to go down there and do it for them. Since then, we've been there every year. We just came back from the Nora 1000 and October we'll be back for the 500. I had TJ and Cole with me at Mexican 1000 and those guys just killed it. Uh, we were able to fix 50 to 60 cars over a matter of six days. Everything from suspension components to frame to cracks and chassis to even welding seats back into place sometimes. Uh, we do a little bit of everything down there. I know in the past we've actually welded up a few wheels. There's nothing that we won't attempt to fix. If it can't be replaced on site, we're gonna give it our best to try to fix it for them. The ability to go down there with these graduates and just repair cars on site, get them the knowledge that they can get and take with them into the industry, it's, it's priceless. Fab School Repair Team. How it all became was, we actually started by doing some pit support for BF Goodrich tires. For ourselves, we did a pit at the MIM 400. We did several pits for BF Goodrich. We helped out with them. And it led to, we need to do more with this. It became, let's put together a team. That was the birth of the Fab School Repair Team. And we were able to take our knowledge here at the school from the background that I personally have, that Troy has, that the school has, and able to mesh all that together and put together this program for our students and our graduates to be able to go out and actually be a part of a race, repair race cars on site. So I can't say enough about all the students that have gone with me in the past. It actually started with just one student and myself. First year that we went down, I took Joey with me. He's a graduate. It blew up a little bit. It started gaining some ground. People were actually calling and asking about it. Then uh, it led to another race with Nick going down with me. And then Joey went again and started going other guys, Jake, Josh, uh, Robbie. Up to this year, I had TJ and Cole with me at the Mexican 1000. When you see or you hear of us going to an event, reach out to us. We'll reach back to you. We will answer your questions. We will give you the information you need to find us, to be a part of what we're doing. And I want our students to come out and help us. This is what the program was developed for. Whether it's Nora, uh, Score Baja 1000, or the Mint 400, or even a Formula Drift or Hot Pit event. Come out, be a part of what we're doing. The best way to learn is to be hands-on, and that's what we're gonna do for you. Companies we can't do this without. There's several suppliers, manufacturers that 
just make our job so much easier. Start that list with Miller Welders. Miller Welders, I mean, what more can we say about them? Their equipment is top notch. We have stuff that we can be stationary with. We have equipment in our trailer that is a fix. It, it doesn't move, it stays there. But they also supply us with mobile boxes where we can go out to the middle of the desert and do what we need to do. So whether it's a MIG weld in the middle of nowhere or a TIG weld in the middle of nowhere or even a plasma cutter, we've got it all. And Miller helps us with that. There's some other companies that we can't do this without. Cameron Welding Supply. They supply us with our gas. That's one thing. That's what most people know. But they also hook us up with some free materials every once in a while. Uh, whether it's wire, rod, tungsten, whatever it is we need, they take care of us on a regular. So there's no concerns there. If we need the equipment, it's there. BF Goodrich and Fox, they take care of us. Uh, whether it's needing tire support or getting us through the roughest ruts out there with our Fox shocks, and they, they're there for us all the time. Another company that really helps us out when we need it is Bomber Safety Eyewear. We can't do what we do, get underneath a vehicle, grind without some good eye protection, and Bomber is always there for us. We can't do, of course, the Nora Mexica 1000 or the Nora 500 without the support from Nora. They take care of us while we're down there. So whether it's Myself or members of the Fab School Repair Team, they're taking care of everybody we take down there with us and they're making sure that we get from point A to point B. They're checking on us and getting the racers out there for us to be able to take care of. Hey, this is Ia El Gallo, number 407, doing a little video for the uh, Fab School. Love these guys. They were there every day at the finish line helping a lot of guys out. Totally helped us out. Vic and the boys, TJ and uh, welded up stuff for us and um, kept us going. What a cool program, can't say enough, can't back it enough. We welded up the track bar when we had the death wobble from hell. You know, these guys, these guys are out there working late at night, totally helping us out, much appreciated. I'm Rhonda, we just raced the Nora 1000, we were number 406, sibling revelry in the UTV production turbo class. Hey, I just wanted to pop on here and give a special thank you and a shout out to our friends over at Fab School. We did find ourselves out in the middle of nowhere with a broken front arm. It had just sheared off. We radioed ahead to our crew and said, get us an appointment with Fab School. <laughs> we're gonna need a real weld on this front end. We were escorted over to Fab School and the lights were on and they were ready for us and they were able to to, to really weld that front end properly and it allowed us to race two more solid days of off-road racing. We were able to make it to the finish line of the Nora 1000. We're so excited about that and we really got there in big part to Fab School for putting that front end together back for us. So thank you. We appreciate you. Hey Fab School, just letting you know what you guys did for us uh, during this last Nora 1000 um, Suburban hit something and we had a real major problem with with our suspension and the front axle This tire hit something. We're not quite sure probably went into a hole of some sort that maybe had a rock on the other side That kicked this tire out so hard it snapped the other side of the u-bolt Actually, is a straight bolt that goes into the housing itself So these snapped off we didn't have any easy outs to pull them out But you guys did which was great right on the side of the highway where we happened to break Fab school guys were there and they welded a bolt to the top of this bolt that was stuck inside there so we could back them out finally and uh, we ended up replacing this entire spring because we had a spare but um, without fab school uh, we didn't have a welder we don't carry welders with us we would have been screwed so thanks a lot fab school really appreciate it my name's john we race this old bronco down in the baja when the nora races and the mexican 1000 and the 500 and we rely on fab school quite a bit down there we crashed this thing a few times and Fab School is always there to help us. We always get it going back the next morning. Fab School is up there all night long working on it, piecing it back together, and just really appreciative of Victor and the students that are down there helping us out and uh, helping us to finish the race each season. So looking forward to seeing you this season, and thank you again for all your help when we go down there. It's a big part of what we do, and, and thank you, Nora, for having us. <laughs>